Hi everyone. Welcome to another question and answer session. A 48 years old woman had the anterior lobe of pituitary gland removed because of tumor. Without postoperative supplement, which of the following could occur? So here, a 44 years old man had anterior lobe of the pituitary gland has been removed because of the tumor. Without postoperative supplement, which will uh, occur? So here are the options. The options are failure to produce adequate amount of thyroxine. Failure to produce parathyroid hormone in response to hypocalcemia. Failure to secrete catecholamines in response to stress. Failure to secrete in insulin in hyperglycemia. Inability to concentrate urine in response to water deprivation. So here we can see this is the anterior pituitary. So first of all, we have to know details about the function of the anterior pituitary. So here we can see the some hormone are releasing from the anterior pituitary. So the name of the hormones are important here. So here first of all, we can see the growth hormone. The growth hormone released from the anterior pituitary and acts on different part of the body and it increases growth of the bone, soft tissue and other area of the body then secondly we can see another hormone that is the prolactin so prolactin it causes lactopoiesis or milk production so the prolactin is secreted from the anterior pituitary and finally it reaches the breast and causes lactopoiesis then we can see another hormone that is the luteinizing hormone the luteinizing hormone it acts both ovary and testis and then we can see the follicle stimulating hormone it acts both ovary and testis then the another hormone that is the SCTH adenocorticotrophic hormone it is released from the anterior pituitary and acts on the adrenal cortex here this is important adrenal cortex not adrenal medulla so the adenocorticotrophic hormone it acts on the cortex of the adrenal gland and it causes release of the cortical hormone such as mineralocorticoid glucocorticoid and sex steroid then we can see another hormone that is the thyroid stimulating hormone so this thyroid stimulating hormone it releases from the anterior pituitary acts on the thyroid gland and causes release of the thyroid hormone so from the anterior pituitary these important hormone are released growth hormone Follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, adenocorticotropic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone. So, this important six hormone are released from the anterior pituitary and acts on different part of the body. In this patient, the anterior pituitary gland was removed surgically due to pituitary gland tumor. So, for this supplement of the all hormone are required. If growth hormone not supplementation uh, stopped then bone muscle and other organ growth will be reduced then if prolactin release reduce then no lactopoiesis that means no milk production then luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone if they reduce then testis and ovary could not work normally and estrogen progesterone and testosterone will not be produced then added to corticotropic hormone the if the cortical hormone are not released then different type of the clinical fissure are developed and finally here you can see the thyroid hormone which is the most one of the most important for our body for maintaining the normal metabolism of our body that also will be reduced then we can see the posterior pituitary gland so here from the posterior pituitary gland oxytocin and vasopressin or ADS is released so here there is no destruction of the pituitary only a removal of the anterior pituitary here we can see the function of the posterior pituitary from the posterior pituitary oxytocin is released and oxytocin is causes contraction of the alveoli of the breast and causes ejection of the milk and vasopressin or ADS it causes or it increases absorption of the water from the kidney tubule and in, in retain water in the body. Then here we can see this is the adrenal gland it located 
just above the kidney and adrenal gland we can see there is two important area one is the inner adrenal cortex and inner part this is the adrenal medulla and from the adrenal medulla catecholamine release here we can see the catecholamines here the catecholamines are norepinephrine epinephrine and dopamine so this epinephrine norepinephrine and dopamine they are the chemical uh, important chemical and chemical messenger for our body for maintaining the normal homeostasis of our body so here we can see uh, here answer failure to produce adequate amount of the thyroxine because uh, we know that the six hormone released from the pituitary gland one of them was thyroid stimulating hormone with x on thyroid gland and causes release of the thyroid hormone but in the second option here we can see the failure to produce parathyroid hormone in the response of hypoglycemia it is not true because the parathyroid hormone it released in response of calcium and this calcium is not dependent on the anterior pituitary so the parathyroid hormone which is released in response of hypo calcemia it is not related to the anterior pituitary then we can see the failure to secrete catecholamines in response of the estrus it is not true because we saw that the catecholamine the catecholamine it released from the adrenal medulla and it responds due to estrus not to anterior pituitary then in the fourth option here we can see failure to secrete insulin in hyperglycemia it is not related to pituitary because we saw the function here here the function uh, here we can see the growth hormone luteinizing follicular stimulating adrenocorticotropic hormone and uh, thyroid stimulating hormone so in this list there is no insulin then the, the last option here we can see the inability to concentrate urine in response to water deprivation it is not true because it is function of the posterior pituitary here we can see this is the vasopressin and this vasopressin or ADS it causes water retention in the dehydration or during the water deprivation so in this option only the uh, first option uh, it will be reduced and other hormones such as growth hormone follicle stimulating hormone uh, luteinizing hormone prolactin they will also be reduced with the thyroxine but other options such as the uh, parathyroid hormone catecholamines then here this is the insulin and ADAs they will not be reduced or they will not hamper their function due to removal of the anterior pituitary due to any tumor or any cause